So what I have in front of me is the holy trinity, at least for me, of Apple products. The iPhone 13 Pro, MacBook Pro 14 inch, and iPad Pro 11 inch. All of these have a ProMotion display, and these happen to be the three main machines that I use in my workflow. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about how I use these machines, why I chose these specific ones, and kind of what my daily routine is like with using these devices. How's it going y'all? It has been aqua, I like the color. And I went through this purge recently, kind of a minimalist-ish type of feeling where I just wanted to get rid of a bunch of stuff. And I realized after using these three devices in particular, I was navigating naturally towards the ProMotion display, which is Apple's beautiful display that all three of these machines have. And what that display is, is a 120 Hertz refresh rate panel. And it's a variable refresh rate. It doesn't use 120 Hertz at all times as kind of a battery saving mechanism it saves energy. It actually is easier on my eyes. It's just more pleasant when you're navigating around the operating system on each of these devices. So not only is ProMotion beautiful, but it's also functional and it makes the experience, the overall experience on these devices just buttery smooth. I really tried to think about each one of these things as a tool meant for a specific purpose. So let's start with the iPhone 13 Pro here. My iPhone is used basically like an iPhone. You know, I make calls on it. I do some FaceTime on it and stuff like that. But the primary use of this iPhone is actually the cameras in here because I use those all the time between the amazing 4K quality video with HDR, Dolby Vision, and all that fancy stuff. And the photos that come out of this phone are absolutely stunning and they almost look amazing every single time. So yeah, the cameras are amazing on this. The processor is so freaking fast. I use this when I am at at the gym so I can watch videos. The ProMotion display really comes in handy on this phone in particular because I would say I use my phone the most out of all three of these devices. I write a lot of scripts and outlines for my videos and stuff also on my iPhone and of course that syncs through iCloud to all my other devices as well. I even use this as a key for my car which is really really handy to not carry around a bunch of like a wad of keys and I don't even have to carry around a wallet because I pay for everything using this thing iPhone 13 Pro, while it's not a perfect device, it's one of the best devices Apple has ever made. And this promotion display on a 13 Pro and a 13 Pro Max supports HDR video playback, as well as it has that brightness thing that happens where it actually bumps up the brightness. I also love to listen to Apple Music lossless audio, and I do that a lot on my iPhone as well as my iPad, but usually I do that on my iPhone just because it syncs to my Apple Watch. But yeah, iPhone 13 Pro is amazing. So now let's talk about the Mac. MacBook Pro 14 inch. I am such a huge fan of this Mac. This one is my silver edition of the 14 inch model, of course, with 10 core CPU, 16 core GPU. It has this iconic notch at the top, which I am not a huge fan of. The keyboard on this computer is also really beautiful. I love typing on this and I did like typing test videos and a bunch of other videos about the performance of this machine that I will link down below. The MacBook Pro also has a bunch of ports, which is amazing, including HDMI, it also has an amazing headphone jack, MagSafe charging, an SD card reader. I mean, this is basically the ultimate machine for me as a content creator, as a photographer, as a musician. I know I said the iPhone 13 Pro is my main device and it kind of is, but when I'm doing my content creation, music production, video editing, it's all on this MacBook Pro 14 inch. And I could actually use the iPad Pro over here as my main Apple device. But the problem with that is, and why I haven't just switched over to the iPad Pro as my main device, is there's no Final Cut Pro on here, of course. There's no Ableton Live on here, which is the app that I use to make my music. And by the way, if you wanna check out my music, search for Ben Aqua on Apple Music and Spotify. You'll find all my stuff there. I highly appreciate all of your streams and all of your support. But getting back to the MacBook Pro, because it's really hard for me to stay on topic, apparently, the ProMotion display on this computer is seriously the nicest display I have basically ever seen on any device. The colors are beautiful. The sharpness is incredible. Not to mention the processor, the M1 Pro processor in this machine is incredibly efficient and it makes everything buttery smooth. The processor mixed with the beautiful OS, mixed with the ProMotion display is like, 
chef's kiss videos look amazing on here text is so easy to read scrolling around everything using promotion on this display is just it's just so nice i try to keep my mentality for the macbook pro as this is my content creation tool so if i'm sitting down at my desk on this machine i get into the mindset that this is the tool that i'm going to use to create things i'm not going to dilly dally on here i'm not going to procrastinate i'm going to use this to work to create things to get in the zone and all of these devices by the way support the p three wide color gamut, which means colors are accurate throughout the experience on all three devices. So I can easily like import photos into my MacBook Pro using the SD card reader, and then they'll sync in Lightroom on my MacBook Pro, which will sync to the cloud that I can access the same exact photo library on my iPhone 13 Pro and my iPad Pro. And I never have to worry about saving things or losing things because everything is stored in the cloud. So now let's talk about this 2018 iPad Pro 11 inch. And like I said, I can do almost everything that I need to do on any of these devices on my iPad Pro. The Apple Pencil works really amazing on this, super smooth. This also has a ProMotion display just like these other two devices. Photos look amazing, videos look incredible on this device. I don't do so much music production and video editing because the apps on this device are kind of limited. So I just default back to Final Cut Pro. So much smoother, so much better on the Mac in my opinion. But where the iPad Pro comes in handy is when I'm sitting on the couch, I want something bigger than my iPhone, but I don't necessarily necessarily want to bring my laptop and have that you know heaviness on my lap the iPad Pro is the perfect in-between size when I just want to watch videos when I want to reply to some messages and stuff and do a little FaceTime but also I love to use my iPad Pro as an inspiration device as well specifically when I want to read or when I'm looking up images or watching videos and stuff on YouTube this iPad Pro and iPads in general are incredible for content consumption because the screen has that ProMotion display as as well it just makes everything just really really smooth for the most part and even on the 2018 machine which is four years old at this point the a12 bionic chip in this machine is still blazingly fast i'm not a huge gamer but when i actually do play games it is on the ipad pro over here i also write a lot of notes and update my journal and stuff on my ipad pro there's something about the mobile devices that makes them a little more fun and engaging to use and my brain my attention span is so short it's so minimal so i really appreciate that on the iPhone and the iPad, I can actually zoom in on one app at a time without thinking about all these windows that are open on my Mac and stuff. When I am using these devices as tools, I can really think of my iPhone as my camera slash social media device. And then I can think of my MacBook Pro as my content creation tool, my video editing, music production, get into the zone kind of tool. And then my iPad Pro is for when I want to relax on the couch, do some reading, watch some videos, you know, just kind of chill out with a device, but let me know in the comments if you can relate to any of these use case scenarios. Like how do you use your Apple products? Do you have three favorite Apple products that you use? Do you have one? Do you have two? Let me know down in the comments. I love to see y'all down there. Also smash the like button, subscribe down below if you want to see more content like this. Add me on social media at B3NAQUA. It's been fun, it's been nerdy, and yeah, I will see you in the next video.